to lift up the Lord Jesus Christ, but I don't want to not thank you for all you do. All the prayers, uh, Sister May said when she was leaving uh, Wednesday night or Sunday, she said, it feels so good to be able to get down and pray for my pastor. And that touched my heart. Just to know. I, I didn't really come here with that thought upon my heart, but, but I thank the Lord for knowing that you're praying for me. I, I know that. I, I can feel it. I mean, I, I told somebody this week, I said, I can really tell somebody's praying for me throughout the week because I can feel as empty as anything when I walk through that door on Sunday morning. But as soon as I get up here, I can tell somebody's been praying for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your prayers, for everything you do, for all the kind words. Praise God, I really appreciate that. It means a lot to us. So in the book of Acts chapter 5, if you want to stand for the reading of God's Word, if you can, if you can't, then the Lord understands. And kind of bear with me just a minute. <clears throat> I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, try to read from in chapter 5, verse 29 through verse 42. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll try to lay the foundation for this and see what the Lord has um, in store for us here. And, and I believe He definitely wants to help us. And, and it'll go right along with the Sunday school lesson. I really hadn't thought about it, but it'll kind of touch uh, some parts of that, I think, if the Lord leads us that way. So, chapter 5, verse 29. And the Bible said, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. So let me lay a foundation really quick, not to have you standing long, but we know here that uh, those disciples had been in prison and, and God had got them out of prison, looked like without even opening the doors. And, and when they found them outside in the temple uh, from the prison, they found them in the temple teaching again the thing they told them not to do. And then they come back to, to talk to Peter and tell him, you don't need to be doing this. So that's where he's answering them. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Uh, the God of our fathers raised up Jesus. Now he's talking to these who have apprehended him or trying to, to tell them to stop doing this. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. And here's G G Gamaliel advice. He said, When they heard that they were cut to the heart, took counsel to slay them, then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, had him reputation among all the people, and the commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. He said, Move them away just a little bit, let's have a conversation. And he said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves. What ye intend to do is touching these men. He said, I, I've seen this happen before. He said, Before these days rose up Theodos, boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves. He said, I've seen this type of thing before. Uh, Theodos, he, he had these men that were following him, and, and, and praise God, he said, To whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who was slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and, and brought to naught. He said, we give them their time. It proved itself. There was nothing to them. And he said, after this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people. He said, it happened again. And he drew away much people after him. He also perished. And all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. He said, he came up. He thought he had a following. He said, it was done away with as well. And he said, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men. He said, leave them alone. Let them alone, for it, if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. He said, it's, it'll take care of itself, just leave it alone. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily you be found even to fight against God. And to him they agreed, and when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame. They were excited that they got beat for the Lord. And said, and daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and to preach Jesus Christ. You help me pray. Let's come together and believe that God's able to do this today. Father in heaven, uh, we come to you one more time, God. We open ourselves to you. Lord, I'd like to empty everything I have inside, Lord God, today to give to the congregation. I thank you, Lord, for their love and their compassion, God, and everything they do. But I pray, Lord, you just take this stammering tongue, God, this weak mind, this broken vessel, Lord, and use it for thy glory, God. I pray you'd be with us for the remainder of this service, Father. I pray, God, I'd not quench the spirit that's already been here today. Help us to see Jesus Christ and Him lifted up, God. I pray, God, that you touch each and every soul that's here today. If there's anybody that doesn't know you, God, as their personal Savior, I pray today would be the day of salvation. They'd harden not their heart, God. I pray you'd take the saints and encourage those, God, that may be beaten down from this past week, God. I pray we'd come together in one mind, Lord, believing upon Thee. In Thy precious holy name we do agree. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen and amen. Thank you for standing for the reading of God's Word. And it seemed like the Lord began to deal with me in my heart this week as I told you. And I began to read this and I praise God I'm going to try to preach to you today. Uh, this one's different. This one is different. Maybe we heard and I'll try to lay a foundation but uh, we've heard this before. Maybe a young lady uh, uh, trying to talk to her parents about a young man and she's trying to convince them that this one's different than the last one. Uh, maybe there was one before and we can read about it as Brother Wayne talked about it but uh, maybe she's had some bad experiences before or or maybe the boy, he's had bad experiences before, but uh, they believe the one they found now is a little bit different. Uh, Gamaliel, he said, I've seen this happen before. He said, there's been those that have led them away, praise God. He said, they had a cause of taxes. Maybe they didn't want to pay their taxes. And he said, by the end of it, they were dispersed. And all those uh, were slain. But can I tell you today about a one that's a little bit different, friend? Praise God, I'm telling you, he's the one that wasn't afraid to touch the leper. He came to one. He said, what is it that you'd have me to do? He said, that I may be made clean, that I may be made whole. Oh, praise God. Nobody else would touch the leper. Nobody else wanted to spend time with the leper friend. They made him stay on the outside of the city. But bless God, when my Savior saw that leper, he came to him and it said, and he touched him. And he said, be thou whole. Be thou clean, friend. Ain't you glad we serve one today? He's a little bit different than the one I served in this world. He couldn't give me anything, friend. He said, praise God, he touched the children. He told them, he said, bring the children unto me. And the disciples, they looked at him and they rebuked him and said, Lord, not so. He said, bring them unto me that I may touch the children. The idols of this world, all they want to do is destroy your children, friend. They love to put things in their mind that they'll have to rascal with for the rest of their life. But thank God I found one that was different than all of that. Those things that the world put in my mind from just a young boy. Bless God, my Lord was able to come in and to cleanse that dirty heart. He was able to cleanse that dirty mind, friend. I want to tell you about one today that's a little bit different. He said it'll come to naught. He said if it be of God, and praise God, it ain't going to come to naught. But if it be a man, it's going to come to naught. Ain't you glad you found one that's a little bit different, friend? I believe there's one in this Bible that's different than anything's ever walked. He didn't come as a roaring lion, praise God, but he came as a lowly babe. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. The rest of them didn't care about your soul. They just wanted the money in your pocket. They just wanted you to follow them so that they'd have prestige, friend, and they'd look upon him as something good. But he came like a lowly sheep, like a sheep led to slaughter. This one's a little bit different. The Son of God that hung on a cross. I believe he's different than anybody else, don't you? I'd like to be a peculiar people. He said, you'll be a peculiar people for me. He said, you need to be in the world, but not of the world. I'm telling you, many times we get in the world, it's hard not to be in that, that bunch, friend. But I'd like to be not in it, I praise God, not of it. I'd like to be all about Him today, wouldn't you? He's different today than anything you've ever served before. We've all served something before. I've served many things, friend, that couldn't bring me no happiness. The only thing they brought me was emptiness, friend. But bless God, He's different today than anything else. I'm glad he's different, ain't you? I believe that woman, as I read about it this week, that Samaritan woman, I believe she knew something about talking to men. I'm not being ugly, friend. I'm just telling you. I believe she knew something about talking to men. But when she got done talking to him, she said, this one's different. This one's different, friend. He wants something different than the rest of them want to talk about. He wants to talk about my soul. He wants to talk about me being made whole, friend. I'm telling you today, you can be made whole. He said, I came to seek and to save that which was lost. Bless God. He came to the sinner's house. I read this maybe last night or this morning. It said he came to the sinner's house. And they begin to look on him and say, why is he in there with sinners? He looked at him and he said, the whole need not a physician. But them that are sick. You know what? Praise God, when you were sick, he came and made a house call to you. I know they used to do that years ago. I don't believe they do it now, but my Savior came to my house and touched my heart. He was different. The rest of them said, well, what, we can, get, what can we give you? We ain't got time to come to your house. We ain't got time to spend with you. But my Savior, He came right through the door. No matter if the door was open or not, He came in and sat down beside me and told me all things ever I did. Is this not the Christ? She said, is this not the Christ? He told me all these things. This one's different. This one's different. He didn't shun me for my background. He didn't shun me for the fact. This world would love to shun you for your mistakes, friend. Wouldn't they, Brother Mike? They'd love to shun you for the mistakes you made. They'd love to shun you. But Jesus said, come to me. Come to me, all you that labor in the heavy laden. He said, I'll give you rest. What if this world wants to give you rest? No. What this world wants to do? It wants to pile you down with more distress. It wants to pile you down with more depression. Pile you down with more anger. He said, come unto me and I'll give you rest. He said, I'll make that lighter. I'll make your load a little bit lighter. I began to read about Jonah this week. And it said the Spirit of God came to Jonah. And he said, I want you to go down there and preach to them in Nineveh. He said, I'm not going. I'm not going down there. But they might repent and I don't like them people. <laughs> hey, you know what? You better do what God tells you to do. 
You better do what God tells you to do. It said, and he told him, he said, I'm not going. And he went and paid the fare. And we're going to preach on that eventually. One day, God will let us. And he went and paid the fare and got on the ship. Got on that ship and a great storm began to come up. As that storm began to come up, those others on that ship began to call on their God. They begin to look and say, how, how can we make this storm stop? They begin to call on their God. I'm telling you, there ain't but one God and all the rest of them are nothing but idols that ain't got no power today, friends. I serve one today that's victorious over death, hell, and the grave. He's different. He's different. They begin to call upon their gods. Nothing happened. I believe they said, hey, where's that other man that got on here? Oh, he's down there sleeping. They went down there and woke him up and said, Hey, what are you sleeping for? We're in a bad storm. We need some help. Call upon your God and it might be that He'll save us. It might be that He'll save us. And he began to tell them, Jonah began to tell them of the things he had done and they knew then. They knew then why the storm was upon them. Sometimes you might be in a storm because of something you've done and sometimes it might not be, but you can call on the same God for the same storm today. Praise the Lord. He began to tell them who his God was. He called upon his God. <laughs> that's when the difference gets made. When you call upon the real God, the risen Savior, the one that's really got the power, how many people have come to you and act like they had a lot of power? They wasn't nothing but a mouthpiece. They didn't have no power at all, friend. I'm telling you about one today that's got all power in heaven and earth has been given to him and nothing's changed. He's still the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. The same God that Jonah called upon is the same God that I can call upon today and made a difference in that storm. It made a difference in that storm. Praise God. They, they began to call upon their gods. He called upon His gods and they cast Him into the sea and said a great fish was prepared. I believe a difference was made. And before that, when that st storm began to calm, they asked Him, He said, Who is it that you serve? He said, I serve the God of heaven. The God of the Hebrew. It's the same God, friend, but He's different than all the rest of them. The rest of them ain't got no power. They called upon their God. You know what? I called upon a lot of people when I was in sin thinking they'd bring me joy. Thinking they had some power in their hands. They could help me. You know what they left me? They left me as empty and broken than I was when they got there, friend. But thank God He came and told me all things ever I did and still loved me. As a leper, as a sinner, He came to the house. Who else went to the sinner's house? Hey, when Christ came, He came lowly. I already told you. You know what it was if a Pharisee walked in here today? You could hear the bells jingling on them. They'd walk around proud with their chest poked out, friend. That ain't nothing but religion. I told you that'll send you to a devil's hell. But when He came in, they said there wasn't no comeliness about Him. There wasn't nothing made you look upon Him. There wasn't nothing special about Him. Oh my, but when you seen what was in His heart, when you seen the love that was in His heart, you know why His own people wouldn't receive Him? Ah, oh, they said, that's Joseph. That's the carpenter's son. He ain't got no power. They couldn't believe on him. But thank God when he walked inside my house, when he walked down my street on dead end street, friend, he found me polluted in my own blood and he loved me anyway. This one's different. This one's different. You've served those other ones before, the false gods. We've read about Dagon before. He couldn't do anything with the Ark of the Covenant, friend. It said when he brought the Ark of the Covenant in one day, he found him on his face with his nose broke off, with his ears broke off. I'd like to see my God come in competition with the idols of this world. You know what we'll find them? Burning and gone, bless God. There ain't nothing to stand up before my God. This one's different. You believe he's different? I praise God. I believe when that woman at the well went, she said, this one's different. You got to come and see. Amen. This one's different. There's been others. Praise God. Come and see. This one's different. I believe Gamaliel had something. He said, wait and see what happens, friend. It'll take care of itself. And thank God it did take care of itself when he came to seek the Gentiles. He came to seek the Gentiles. Ain't you glad of that? I'm glad he come to seek the Gentiles. You didn't get in here because you was good enough. Praise God, you ain't staying in because you're good enough. We're staying in because of the blood of the Lamb that was shed on Calvary's hill. Praise God. This one's different. You believe he's different? I believe when he hung on that cross, they thought we'll get him. Hey, you know what they do and, and when they, they uh, the POWs and the, the war crime criminals and, and all those that they get, they start torturing them, trying to get them to talk. They start doing terrible things to them, trying to get them to talk. Maybe you know people that have been through that. They start to try to get them to talk. You know, he could have said, okay, let me go. Let me go. I'm done with this. Let me go. I'm done with this. But he was different. I believe if you beat anybody else like that, they'll say, I'll give you anything. Stop hitting me. I'll give you anything. Stop beating me. He said, I'm going to this end. To this end was I born. Bless God, he was different than anybody else. He died for you. He had no sin. Praise God, if anybody owns on this earth that has no sin, they shouldn't have to die like that. I didn't preach to you about that. But thank God this one was different and stayed on that cross for you. He stayed on that cross for me. He was different, wasn't he? Hey, you think of this any other man? He said, okay, okay, stop hitting me. I'll give you anything you want. I'll give you anything you want. Just stop hitting me. Stop beating me. Stop it. Give me a drink. Please give me a drink. Yeah. Oh, Lord. He was hung on that cross. He said, I thirst. 
Bless God, the one who created the water, thirsty because of me and you. He hung on that cross and died for you, friend, different than any other man. You say, I don't believe it. Well, it said when he died, those soldiers, I believe they've seen a lot of people die. Don't you? Praise God. I don't know, but I can believe I can find it. If you give me time in the history books. I believe those soldiers seen a lot of people die. But when he died, what did he say? Truly, this is the Son of God. Truly, this man's different than anybody else that's ever died here. I don't know if anybody else had died or died on that cross. I believe it's a place that crucified people. He seen many people die. He said this was different. He said, truly. Truly, this is the Son of God. And it said that when the resurrection happened, praise the Lord, when the resurrection took place, many of the saints come up out of them graves. Many of the saints. I wanted to read that just again this morning just to see it from my own eyes. It said many saints come up out of the grave. He wasn't the only one to come up out of there. He wasn't the only one to come up out of there. The Bible said many of the saints come up and went to the city. Those that didn't believe, you know, praise God, one day the unbeliever surely is going to be a believer. He may be an unbeliever now. He may think it ain't important now. But one day the unbeliever is going to bow and say, Truly, thou art the Son of God. You're different than anything else I've seen. <laughs> Have you ever been around anybody and they say, you're a little different? I know I'm a little different. Praise God, you ask people around me, they tell you I'm a little different. But I want to serve the Lord. I want to be a true servant to Him. I want to be that peculiar people that's sanctified and set aside for Him for His use for the Master's kingdom. you believe He's a little different, Brother Donnie? I believe He's a little different. He's more than a little different. I believe He's different than anything I've ever tried to do before. Praise God, I believe He's different than anything I've aligned myself with before. Why would He align Himself with you? Why would he align himself with me? I have no idea. If you think you're worthy for him to align yourself with, you better come pray today. Praise God, we're all filthy rags, but he died, praise God, with no sin so that you can be set free. He's a little different. He wants to set you free. This world wants to bind you down. This world wants to put chains upon you, wants to get you dependent upon them. There's only one thing I want to depend upon. That's my Savior. I don't want to depend upon nothing else. You know, I'll let you down. I'll try to do everything I can to help you, but I promise you, if you look to me, I will let you down, friend. I'm just a man like everybody else, but I've never been let down by this one. He's a little bit different than everybody else, ain't he? Can you say he's different today? I believe he's different today. I don't believe anybody else came up out of that grave like he did. I believe God himself rolled back that stone. And all them saints, can you see that? All them saints walking to town. They said, we've not seen it like this before. When they came, praise the Lord, when they come to take Jesus, it said the Sanhedrin sent to get take Jesus. And it said they came back empty-handed. They came back empty-handed. They said, why didn't you take him? They said, never man spake like this man. Never man spake. This one's a little bit different, friend. If you'll talk to him, he knows exactly how to talk to you. I don't care what kind of language you, you teach. Praise God, you speak. He can speak the language for you today. He can speak your language. You say, I'm a sinner rotten on my way to hell. He can speak that language today, friend, to give you joy evermore. You say, well, I've done a lot of bad things. Guess what? If all of us was honest, we've all done a lot of bad things. But this man was different enough to look past that if you ask forgiveness of it. If you ask forgiveness of it, he was able to look past that and say, I don't remember it no more. And go right inside where nobody else is allowed. Go right inside your heart, friend. It's not on the outward appearance, but the heart that man looks at. This world looks at the outward appearance, don't it? As far as them Pharisees, praise God, when they walked in, they was all about the outside. Hey, that's just like everybody. That's just like the world, ain't it? Religion is just like the world. Look upon me. I'm not dirty. I've done everything right. I know the law. They said, who give this man authority? Nobody's even taught him, and he's teaching the law. Praise the Lord. I know who give him authority. God in heaven give him authority. He said, I and my Father am one. He sent me, and I've come to bear witness of who he is. <laughs> hey, there's only one. He didn't come for his own. He said, the Bible tells me, and this hurt me the first time I read it, it pleased not his own self. But he pleased the Father, which is name. You say, no, he pleased, no. The Bible tells me, if I read it right, it said he pleased not his own self, but he came to please the Father. He would have loved to have stayed and helped a little bit longer. He would have loved to have stayed and helped a little bit longer. But he had to give it up for you, friend. This one's a little bit different. It, oh, my, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Praise God, I thought it not robbery, but he counted equal with God. But made himself of no reputation. I tested on that last week. Made himself of no reputation and humbled himself, praise God, and become obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. This one's a little bit different, friend. I ain't seen nobody with authority want to lay their life down for a bunch of rotten scoundrels. But he said, I'll do it, Father. I'm going to be different than they were. <laughs> this one was different. They never seen one like this before. They never seen one come through and all he had. They said, praise God, that woman said, if I can just touch 
All I want to do is touch his garment. This one's different. I've heard about it. Just to hear his name brings power. You say it don't. Next time you get in a trial, close your eyes and just say his name as many times as you can. I'll tell you, there's power in that name today, friends. You want to be saved? You want to be delivered? Bless God. All you got to do is speak his name and believe upon him. I can remember one time I was in a, in a court case. Somebody stole something from us. If I said their name, you probably know who they was. But somebody stole a piece of equipment from me. And it's a pretty expensive piece of equipment. And we found it. And we, we, we went to the courthouse. And I thought this would be about three or four witnesses. And got there and all them backed out. So I was the only witness. And I thought, Lord, this ain't going to end good. These people know where I live at. And they're about as rough as I am. So it probably ain't going to end well. And I can remember being a little bit feared. I felt a little bit, you know, just a little bit worried. And I thought, Lord, they'll get me up there and get me so confused. I'll tell them I stole it. I don't know. You get on the court stand, praise God. You better have everything figured out or they'll have you twisted up. I remember sitting on there thinking, Lord, you're going to have to help me today. And I began to feel that fear of the devil coming down. He loved to put you in fear, friend. He loved to torment you. I began to feel the Lord's Spirit come down. I just kept saying His name, Jesus. Jesus. There's something about that name, ain't it? There's something about that name, friend. No other name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved than that sweet, precious name of the Lamb. I begin to say that name, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Help me with this situation. I begin to feel that fear leave me. Hey, fear's a liar today. He'd love to bring you down so you don't even leave the house. All you got to do is speak His name. And you know what? <laughs> Praise God. I remember that, that judge said, uh, Son... He was talking to the man who stole it. He said, I can't prove you stole that piece of equipment. But he said, you're going to pay this man back. I thought, oh, Lord, only the Lord could do that. He said, I can't prove you stole it, but you will pay this man back because I know you stole it. Only the Lord can do that for you. This man's different today, friend. He's not a hard taskmaster. The transgressor is hard, but the way of his... <laughs> Praise God. The way of a saint ain't hard. The way of a transgressor is hard today. He's different. He's different than anybody else. Have you ever met a man like this? Have you ever met a man that would love you in spite of yourself? Have you ever met a man that on Monday you failed him miserably and on Tuesday morning he's waiting to wake you up? He said, wake up, friend. It's time to get up. <laughs> hey, have you ever met anybody like that? Have you ever met anybody that can say, come unto me, and he really loves you? You say, I messed up yesterday. He's not saying, I'm not even going to. Have you ever had that before? You said, I'm not going to call them. I'm mad. We'll see who calls who first. That's nonsense, and we all go through it. That's that flesh. That's that right flesh. I'm not calling him. I called him yesterday. I'm not calling him. Ain't you glad the Lord ain't like that? Ain't you glad when you mess up, he said, I ain't calling him back. Last time I called, they was hateful to me. Last time I called, they didn't want to spend no time with me. The Lord ain't like that today, friend. He wants to spend time with you. He wants to come to your house and take up His abode. Let him, do you have a room for Him? Oh, Lord, I'd like to have a room for Him. This one's different, ain't it? Yeah. I love it when He stops by, don't you? Yeah. If it's just for a second, if it's just for a minute, I thank God I love it anytime I get to visit my brothers and sisters, but it ain't nothing like spending time with the Master. This one's different today, friend. <laughs> oh, my, I can still see that woman. Sitting there with amazement. Yeah. Waiting for him. You talk to somebody before and they start off talking good and you're just waiting for them to ask you. So you know when they call, they're going to ask you for a favor. He didn't ask her for a favor. <laughs> Praise God. He knew exactly where she was at. He come to help her. The Bible before that says he must needs go through Samaria. It was time for the Gentiles to be let in. Nobody else wanted to let the Gentiles in. But the one who had that authority... From the Father. I believe we can find it in the Old Testament that the Gentiles were going to be let in. If you want to take time, I'll find it in there and show it to you. I found it a couple weeks ago. Praise God, the Gentiles was able to be let in because this man was different. He done all things well. Never, never man spake like this man. He touched the leper. He went home with the sinners. You can't tell me one other person in that Bible that ever done it the way Jesus. He has done all things well. There's nothing he ever did wrong. Oh my. But he still wanted to spend time with you. You've been around it. They used to say it when I was a little boy. They're goody two shoes. They ain't never done nothing wrong. They think they're too good to spend time with us. They think they're too good to talk to you. My Lord ain't no goody two shoes. He never made no problems. He never, never messed up, friend. But he still liked to spend time with you. They, some people today, they think they're so holy and thou, they wouldn't even spend time. They would never even speak to you if they saw you in the store. You know what? I hope they get saved before it's too late. Praise God, because my Savior could have been the one that said, I'm not going to talk to him. I know what filthy rags he is. I know what he did last night, but he still come home with me. And said, Lord, will not you change, son? Ain't you tired of this sinful living? Ain't you tired of living in that sinful life? I want to come to you. Will you let me in? Will you let me in? He'd love for you to let him in today. You said, I've been saved for 30 years. Well, good. Bless your heart. Let him into a different room. I believe if we study out the heart, there's different chambers of that heart, isn't it? 
I ain't studied it out really this week, but I believe there's different chambers of that heart, Brother Jeff. I think if we look at it right, I'd like to let him into every chamber. I don't want to keep one, one, one part of it for just for me and my family, but not him. I want him to search the corners. <laughs> hey, I want him to search the corners of my heart and make sure there ain't nothing in there he don't approve of. Praise God. He's different than everybody else. But that don't mean he'll let you live in your sin. He won't let you live in your sin and praise God and die in your sin and go to heaven. That ain't how this works, is it? Praise God, when it comes down to it, you got to make sure that your account's been settled long ago. I love that song, don't you? Long ago, down on my knees, long ago, <laughs> I had an old account that was settled. Praise God. And it was a man that was a little bit different. He may have been new on the scene, but he said, I'm going to give that one credit. I'm going to pay that debt off. I'm going to pay that debt off. Praise God, ain't you glad there's one different? There's one, he didn't come to seek his own glory. If a man did that today, more, more than likely he would seek his own glory. I paid off everything Brother Juno, and I paid off everything Brother Donnie owed. And I just want to tell you about it. If there's a man that brags, let's touch on this a minute. If there's a man that brags on himself all the time, you better mark that man, praise God. I'm telling you, there's something to see inside there, and one day it'll come on out. Ain't nobody needs to be bragging. You ever been around that before? My Lord didn't brag. He said, go and tell nobody. Go and tell nobody. Hey, I'd like to be more like him, wouldn't you? If we don't watch, we'll begin to brag. And God, that stinks in the nostrils of God. I've been around them before. As soon as they walk up, you know, one thing they're going to do is brag about everything they've done all week. I'd like to brag on Him, wouldn't you? Because if it wasn't for Him, I wouldn't have the air in my lungs to stand here and tell you about Him. My Lord never bragged. He didn't go around saying, guess what I did yesterday? I saved that old rotten prostitute, whatever she was. No, He didn't. No, He had so much love in His heart. Praise God, He said, I have bread you know not of. Because when he's seen her, that ought to bring joy to our heart, friend. When we see those get saved, we see those fall out with sin, it ought to bring a joy in our heart more than eating fruit, more than doing anything, just to see those come. Wouldn't you like to see somebody saved? We come here the other night for a few minutes. I walked through that door. I said, Lord, give us souls for our labor. I'm not asking for no recognition. I don't want nobody to remember me. I don't care if you know my name. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have a name. I want to be followers of Jesus Christ. But when I walked in that door, my heart, every time I come in, is, Lord, give us souls for our labor. I don't want to see anybody die and go to a devil's hell. I don't want to see it, and I know I won't be able to see it. God wouldn't allow that in my heart if I make it to heaven. He wouldn't allow me to see those in hell. But that's my, praise God, I do not want to know that somebody left those doors and went straight to a devil's hell when I've tried to tell you every week that Jesus saves, friend. Don't you love that song? Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Praise God, He saved my soul. He was different than anybody else. You believe he's different than anybody else, Brother Wayne? I believe he's different than anything I've ever come in contact with. This world may try to help you. They may try to put you through a program. They may try to pay your bills, get you on your feet, friend. But I'm telling you, there's one. He's sticking closer than a brother. He wants to go home with you today. He'd love to come to this altar with you today and pray. Sister Judy, as you'll come. He'd love to come to this altar today and pray with you. But you know what? He won't just leave right there. He'll walk out hand in hand. Wouldn't you like to walk hand in hand with him today? I like to put my hand in his hand and walk all the way to the house with him. You say it's a long walk. It'll be worth it, friend, if I can walk hand in hand with the one that was a little bit different than everybody else. He thought I was worth dying for, so I think he's worth living for. And she begins to play. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Gamma Mill said it'll come to naught. If I could talk to Gamma Mill, I'd say it proved itself out. It proved itself out. It didn't come to naught. They're still preaching about it in Gamma Mill. Two, four thousand years later, whenever this was wrote, they're still preaching about that man that you said, hold on, boys. He said, hold on. Y'all let the disciples go over there. We're going to talk just a minute. He said, y'all going to have to leave them alone. If, it, if it's of God, praise God, you can't, you can't overthrow it. If it's a man, it'll come to naught. I'd like to tell him today, I hope he made things right. It said he was a doctor of the law. I believe if you read it, that's the one that Paul studied under. Praise God. I'd like to tell him today, oh, praise the Lord. I'd like to know he's in heaven first of all. But if I could talk to him, I'd like to say, you remember when you talked to them back there? Praise God, it still ain't come to naught. It still ain't come to naught today, friend. It's still the same power it was the day that they came out of prison without the doors even being open. And we're still in the temple. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We're still in the temple proclaiming the glory of God through His only begotten Son. We're still proclaiming Him. Can you still proclaim Him? I'd like to tell this world we're still proclaiming Him down at the house of God telling everybody you can be saved as we all stand today. Praise the Lord.
I don't know your heart today. We go through this every week, but I don't know your heart today, but God will go home with you if you let Him. God will go home with you too, brother, if you let Him. Praise God. I want you to know today, if you can believe on Him just for one second, I love that story God put in my heart. I won't tell it again. I feel it on my heart. Yeah, I'm sure everybody in here knows a lot more about the Lord than I did when I first got saved. But thank God you know how I got saved. I believe for one second He could keep me from drinking. I believe for one second He could keep me from dope. I believe for one second He could keep me from doing sinful things. And you know what? I believe for two seconds. Praise the Lord. I believe for three seconds. You say, well, that's awful awful elementary. Let me tell you, friend. I didn't know nothing about him, but I knew he was a little bit different. I knew I never met a man like this that really cared about my soul. He didn't just care about me having money in the bank. He didn't care about me having a house over my head as much as he cared about my soul. Praise God. You may have something in your heart that you're having a hard time believing. I'd like to offer it to you. Can you believe for one second he can save your children? Can you believe for one second He can save your children? Can you believe for one second He can save your husband or your wife or whoever it is in your family, your daddy, your mama, whoever it is. Can you believe for one second? This one's different. He's worth giving a try to today, friend. He's worth giving, he's worth giving a try. He's worth giving a try to today. Take a chance with my Lord. This woman said, oh my. <laughs> Come and see. Oh Lord, have mercy. I feel the Spirit of the Lord here today wanting to help somebody. Oh my. <laughs> This one's different. You tried a bunch more. He said he'll be a father to the fatherless. Praise God. I believe he'll be a son to the, to the one who's lost their son, a daughter to the one who's lost their daughter. I believe he'll be a husband. I believe he'll be a wife. He'll be everything you need today, friend. The Bible says, seek ye first. There was a time they was worried about the raiment. They was worried about what they was going to drink. They was worried about what they was going to eat. <laughs> he said, seek ye first. Yeah. The kingdom. And all these things, these things will be taken care of. Then he said, first seek me. He said, I'm a little different than what you've seen before. He said, I really care for your soul. I come to seek and to save that which was lost. Praise God, if the sick is here today, the whole need not a physician, but the sick may need a physician. The physician's here today. He's making a house call. He's making a house call today. Don't you be afraid of this altar. If you'd like to come pray today that God would help you, I don't know what's on your heart. Like I told you, when I leave these doors, I want to know that there's no blood on my hands. Whether it be my blood or your blood, I want to know I did everything I could to point you to the one that's a little bit different. You may be looking for joy. You may be looking for satisfaction. You may be looking for something that's going to last. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I tell you, this will last, friend. It won't get old. You can look at that born on date. You throw many things away from your refrigerator because it's expired. This will never expire. The blood of the Lamb will save you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Don't that sound good? Praise God, it sounds good to me today. I'd like to be cleansed from my unrighteousness. I'd like to be more like Him. And you know why I can be? Because the one that died on that cross, when they looked upon Him, they said, this one died different. We never seen one die like this. Praise God, wait till you see him rise up. He may have died different. Wait till you see him rise up, friend. It'll be different than anything you've ever seen when the saints come up out of the grave. One day I'm coming up out of there. If I die in this body, I'm coming up out of there just like he did. Can I tell you this one's different? Will you take a chance with him? Will you draw a little bit closer to him today? I don't know your heart. I'm about to wrap up. Would you draw a little bit closer to him? I'd like to have a little bit more Jesus. Would anybody like to have a little bit more Jesus? Can you raise your hand and tell the Lord? I'd like to have a little bit more of Him, wouldn't you? Oh, Lord, I'd like to make room for more of you. I'd like to pull back some of me, friend, and let Him come into me so that I could really have that love that I need. This man was different. This man was different. Oh, Lord. John said, I'm not He, but there's one coming after me who's worthy. I'm not worthy to let you choose. He said, He's different than I am. He said, I'm not that true light. He is that true light. When that dove came down, I'm about to do. When that dove come down, he said, the Spirit of the Lord like a dove. He said, this is my, my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. If God's pleased with Him today, don't you know you will be? If God Himself was pleased with His Son, I believe we'll be pleased with Him. Anybody like to come pray? Anybody like to come pray? Every head bowed, every eye closed. Praise God, I brought everything to you the Lord told me to. He wants you to know this one's different. You may have been hurt by a lot of people as we opened it up. That young lady's been hurt by many boys. That young man's been hurt by many girls. But I'm telling you today, the Lord is different. He'll not hurt you. He'll not hurt you, friend. 
He won't do you wrong. The only thing He wants to do is wrap His arms around you and love you today. Will you let Him love on you? Praise the Lord. i never seen it to Brother Wayne brought her down. What was it like for John to hear that heartbeat? What was it like for John to hear that heartbeat as he laid upon the Lord's breast? Oh my. Praise God. Anybody like to raise your hand and say, Preacher, I wish I could believe just a little bit more. I would like to believe just a little bit more. That one said, Lord, I believe. Help my that unbelief. I'd like to believe against hope today, God. When I've done everything to stand, I'd like to stand for you. I'd like to be different, friend. You know what happened when I got saved? I become different than I used to be. I don't want to sin no more. I don't desire those things no more. I desire more of Him. Praise the Lord. Anybody like to raise their hand and say, Preacher, I'd like to believe a little bit more today. I'd like to believe a little bit more today for my lost loved ones. Praise God, I'd like to believe a little bit more. Anybody like to say, I wish, Lord, Preacher, if you could pray for me this week. We, we try to pray for everybody in here. I promise you that. I promise you, if God's my witness, I do my best to pray for you multiple times every day. Not me, friend. I'm not, I'm not bragging. I'm telling you, the Lord puts that on my heart. The Lord puts that on my heart. But if you need special prayer this week, you raise your hand. Praise the Lord. I'm not telling nobody this between me and the Lord. Praise the Lord. This between me and the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, bless the Lord. Hey, this is between me and the Lord, I tell you, I'll try to do my best to go to my prayer closet and ask God to help you to this week, friend. God can do it. Do you believe that? God can do it. Praise God. Anybody else? Praise the Lord. We'll do that. Anybody else need special prayer this week? Anybody else need special prayer this week? Praise the Lord. We can do that. Praise the Lord. Anybody else? Praise God. Father in heaven, we come to you this day. God, at the end of this service, we thank You for being with us today. What a wonderful Lord's Day it's been. I thank You so much for my brothers and sisters, God, for them praying before the service. I believe in my heart, God, that they prayed before the service. They prayed all week. I know that's why I feel Your anointing here today. It's not because I do all things well, God. I'm nothing but a misfit. Most time I mess up everything. But thank God You came down today and reminded us that You're different. You're different than this world is. You're not like them. You didn't come to steal from us, God, but You come to give to us. Lord, I pray You touch each and every one of these. Those that have raised their hand need a special prayer. God, You know our heart as we try. Everybody tries to pray for everybody. But there are those here today, maybe most of the congregation needs special prayer this week. I pray You'd put it upon my heart, God. I'd be able to pray for them, not that I could get God's attention no more than anybody else. But I believe, Lord, You've seen their hands. What they're saying is, God, I need help. What they're doing is they're saying that name. When they raise their hand, Lord, that's the same thing. as saying, Jesus, 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 help me this week. God, I pray, Lord, as we close out, that You'd go with everybody. Lord, for the remainder of this day, God, I pray You'd give them strength. Give us encouragement, Lord, in a lost and dying world. I'd like to be able to make it to church, Lord, and to be able to feel Thy Spirit. I'd like to be able to take some of this with me today and share it with those we come in contact with. God, we love You. We love this congregation, God. I pray, God, that You'd give them strength in everything that they have to deal with. Lord, help us to come together in one mind, one accord once again. Lord, when it's that time, in Jesus' precious holy name we do pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Thank you.